Now, out of the 10 satellites that ISRO successfully launched on Monday, eight are nanosatellites designed by students from foreign universities. ISRO's gesture to piggyback them has won the hearts of the student community in many Western countries. Over the moon, and why not? Eight of the nanosatellites launched by the ISRO are functioning well. These are low-priced satellites designed by university students in Canada, Japan, Germany, Holland and Denmark. They say India's space capability impressed them and ISRO took only five hours to sign the deal. We, we have been uh, looking forward to this, this day uh, for a long time now. Uh, we've been waiting for it, uh, all of us uh, in suspense, uh, not just here but also in, in, in our various uh, home countries. Uh, AIS as we call it, space capability, will be able to identify a ship. Not only that, we'll be able to see ships that are around it and the search and rescue people of any nation will be able to call up those ships and say there is a ship in distress, please go and help. The launch has come as a big relief for this team from Japan. Two years ago their dream was shattered when the Russian rocket carrying their satellite to space failed in its mission. Today we are very very happy and I appreciate ISRO's support. Yeah. India's launch of 10 satellites in one go was keenly watched by customers at least in five different countries. Now they are happy that they had made the right choice. With camera person Sukumar and Arasu at Sri Harikota, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.